Monitoring Kubernetes, version 3.0. Overview. Default dashboard and application is overview dashboard. Where you can find list of all namespaces in Kubernetes, counters of all different workloads running on your Kubernetes clusters, and review generated events from your Kubernetes cluster. This dashboard provides flexible filtering capabilities based on node labels and namespaces. From this dashboard you can drill down to list of all workloads created within selected namespace or to specific type of workloads. As an example, we just drill down to the daemon set workloads dashboard. Where you can find all the daemon set running on your Kubernetes clusters. From this view you can drill down to specific daemon set. On the workload dashboard you can track all the default metrics for the pods, scheduled by this workload. Like CPU usage, memory usage. Disk IO see the list of all containers and processes running inside of these pods, and see the logs generated by these containers. You can drill down to the pod dashboard to review metrics, list of containers and processes, and see the generated logs from this specific pod. Additionally to CPU and memory usage, on this dashboard you can find CPU shares, requires in Kubernetes, CPU quota, limits in Kubernetes, memory limit and percent of time when processes in this pod were throttled. Similarly to pod dashboard, on container dashboard you can see list of processes running inside of this container, logs generated by this container, review metrics, and compare metrics to the requests and limits. On process dashboard you can see detailed information about the process, including most of the information you can find in PROC file system. You can see how long this process is running. See effective user ID and group ID, review list of effective capabilities, detailed CPU usage, number of threads in process, context switches, find detailed information about allocated memory, number of system calls and I.O. usage as well. Another way to navigate in the application is starting from the hosts overview dashboard. On this dashboard you will be able to review aggregated metrics for hosts, review events and see host logs, including kubelet and docker daemon logs. You can filter list of dashboards using node labels. On host dashboard you can review CPU, memory and swap pressure. Find all scheduled pods on this host, containers and processes running on this host. And review host logs. Another set of dashboards is top like dashboards, which allows you to monitor hosts, pods, containers and processes with real-time searches. When you need to find logs for specific container you can use logs dashboard. This view provides flexible filtering capabilities. In version 3.0 we added dashboards for reviewing health of your Kubernetes clusters. First dashboard allow you to review allocatable resources. Compare capacity, allocatable resources, review requests and limits. Verify that amount of allocatable memory is well planned. As an example on this dashboard you can see that with the limits we reached 100% of all resources, and that we did not reserve enough memory for system processes, as all nodes use 5 times more memory than reserved for system processes. In version 3 we also add a dashboard which will allow you to review list of containers with processes running with effective user ID 0. It is highly recommended not to run containers with root users. You always need to know the reasons why you want to run containers with root users. On our cluster you can see that we are running three containers with collectors, which need to be run as root user to have access to the host and container logs and being able to read proc and see group file systems. On this dashboard you can also review elevated capabilities, which provides super user privileges. You can find that two containers in our cluster, router and API server, have netbind capability to be able to bing to ports less than 1024. Application allows you to review list of all collectors running in your cluster. Out Solutions allows you to send multi-line log lines as just one event in Splunk. All events are enriched with Kubernetes specific metadata, including labels, names of the container, pod and workload. With version 3 our solution for monitoring Kubernetes provides flexible configurations to store logs, events and metrics in dedicated Splunk indexes by types and by namespaces as well. This will allow you to set up similar access control lists in Spunk to what you have in Kubernetes. In our example our user sock shop user have access only to data from one namespace sock shop. This user does not have access to the host level logs and metrics, but can review metrics, events and logs generated from this namespace. 
Thank you for watching. Visit www.coldsolutions.com to learn more about our products.